Okay, uh, yeah, let's learn something about uh, how to read uh, from a file and uh, write something to a file. Uh, and uh, it's very useful actually if you want to uh, read something uh, from a file and write something to a, uh, for, to a file. Yeah, and sometimes we want to do some experiment and the result uh, we need to write to the file and also uh, some data uh, we need to read from the file. So, yeah, actually I already write the same problem uh, on chapter 4 uh, in our tutorial. And uh, uh, in order to save some time, I just, uh, um, yeah, I get it ready. I don't have to type uh, line by line. You know, this we can save uh, some time. So, but uh, here you see the font is uh, too small. Uh, let's try to change it if we can make it bigger. So, uh, yeah, we need to go to here. Yeah, environment, IDE, right? Environment and the fonts. So, we can do this way. Uh, let's try 16 or 17 or 18. It's good. It's good enough. Okay. Yeah like what we have learned. Uh, we already know this uh, program read data and, uh, and the program uh, read data. I just repeat this part because uh, yeah, on the uh, last uh, uh, assignment for the exercise 1.4, yeah, there is some error. <laughs> this one and this one, if they uh, do not match, then uh, we'll get some error, runtime error. And also here, uh, implicit nine. You see, this is uh, yeah. Actually, uh, yeah. Uh, throughout the whole tutorial, you will see this line. Implicit nine uh, is used uh, very often. Yeah, uh, actually for uh, all the problem. So what does this mean? Uh, already uh, post something on the model. Actually, I need to give credit uh, to. Uh, to, to maybe the professor or instructor of uh, uh, this website. Uh, so here you see statement uh, yeah, type, don't worry. Yeah, actually we need to know why uh, we need to use this statement, statement purpose. Uh, it says that implicit nine statement is used to inhibit, yeah, try to avoid an old future old feature. We know that for Fortran uh, there are a lot of features and a lot of uh, versions actually. For some old versions of uh, uh, Fortran they have some old features. So in order to avoid those kind of features we need to use uh, uh, implicit 9. So here you see some old features like uh, they will treat, um, treat the letter you see the variables uh, start with i, j, k, l, m, and n as integers. Uh, so here, if you want to have, uh, you see, on our program, uh, no, not this one, on our program, uh, we want to treat x, y, and z uh, as real number. Uh, we should use this one. Otherwise, uh, yeah, they are, um, yeah, m maybe it's okay, right? <laughs> But for I, J, K, L, M, and N, uh, they are treated as uh, um, an integer. But here, X, Y, and Z should be fine. You, you can check. You can check. Maybe not. Uh, so, yeah, this is why we need implicit now because try to inhibit some old features from old versions of uh, uh, for train. And uh, so here we want to read some data from a file called mydata.txt. Uh, yeah, since I already got the program ready, and uh, let's try to build it. Yeah, actually, I already built it. The compilation is uh, successful. So, yeah, it says up to date. Or already, yeah, that means after I compile uh, last time, uh, there is no change for uh, this program. Okay, uh, so let's write. Uh, after compile, let's write. Yeah, so here, 
yeah, as I expected, actually, <laughs> yeah, I want to do this uh, 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 on purpose because I want to show you uh, some uh, uh, something, some trouble, and uh, then uh, I will show you how to deal with this uh, kind of trouble, some problem. So, uh, in this way, you can remember it uh, uh, in a better way, right? So here, yeah, actually. Uh, yeah, we can check where is this file uh, located. Yeah, you see, uh, the I mean the uh, Fortran program located uh, in the folder is called. Uh, yeah, actually, it's uh, my teaching folder. So, yeah, it's here, right? Uh, I name it name this folder as uh, uh, Fortran uh, ninety five uh, workspace folder. Uh, so, here. Um, my data uh, dot uh, txt. My data dot txt. Is it there? <laughs> mm. Yeah, actually, it's nothing, right? It's nothing. So we need to put some data, otherwise, cannot read it. Uh, yeah, and uh, I want to introduce something, uh, some tool very useful. Uh, yeah, it's called Notepad++. Actually, it's very uh, useful for programming language. Uh, yeah, almost all kinds of languages uh, um, are compatible with this uh, Notepad, and uh, it's very useful. So you can try it. Uh, it's called Notepad++. Uh, uh, if you Google it, and you do, you'll find it uh, where to download. So here, I just want to show you. Uh, it's more powerful than the Notepad, uh, along with uh, uh, Windows. So uh, we have uh, three. Yeah, we need three X, Y, and Z because on the program we need three variables. Uh, so here, let me do this one. And, uh, um, okay. So this one. That means we want to read. Uh, a file with read some data from the file uh, called my data dot txt and uh, ten is the number of the input uh, device. Uh, you can put any number. Uh, I mean, not any, any positive number, any positive number. Uh, so since we use uh, um, positive number ten here, device number is ten. So if we want to read uh, something. We need to still we need to use ten. Otherwise, it will not work. And uh, we want to read the data. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we have three data, right? So the first line uh, will be read to x, and second line to y, and the third line to z. And then, uh, yeah, only these two lines are new uh, to us. So the rest we already know this. And uh, yeah. Let me build it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we did not change anything for the program. Mm, I see if uh, any error. Okay, you see, we can get uh, yeah real number. Uh, how many digits after the decimal? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. I see. Um. Mm, I want to show you something else. Actually, for this part, is uh, how to read from a file. And uh, uh, next thing, we already know. <laughs> uh, next thing, we need to uh, write to a file. Right? Sometimes we have some data. If we do some experiment, uh, get some data, we want to um, write uh, the data to the um, to a uh, Data file, yeah, especially some result from the um, experiment. So, yeah, already did something. You see, we can comment, uh, do a block comment. Use this way, right click and first highlight this part, select this part, and then, um, yeah, right click and comment selection. You see, a lot of dollar sign, see a lot of money, <laughs> but it's not. So, here. Yeah, let's go to the next program. You see how to uncomment. Uncomment. In this way, uh, the compiler will execute 
yeah, compile, uh, a compiler will compile this part, and then this part will be executed. So for this one, uh, we name the program uh, as IO2, and also we use implicit num, and we want to have a real number, uh, A U M num, and. Uh, so here, uh, something is new before, you see, um, not new, actually open, yeah, we have open here, right? But here, something is different, you see, before we use my data.txt, actually the extension is txt, but here, we do not use any extension. Seems like this is a kind of use in Linux, right? <laughs> in Linux, sometimes, um, for convenience, we don't want to put any uh, extension still good still good right so if we do this one let's see if we have um, uh, my output uh, file in this folder no we do not have you see we do not have so um, let's try let's try <laughs> uh, maybe if we run the program um, for this file uh, will be uh, created and also how does this part do this part actually is a do loop so uh, start from 1 and, uh, uh, to 100 since i is an integer so what's the step step size uh, for the increment should be 1 right so for the first loop should be 1 and the second one should be 2 third one should be 3 and uh, uh, down to 100 uh, up to 100. So here, what's the calculation? Just do division divided by 3 and then write, you see, uh, write something, write something, write something, write what? Write the value of num, num variable to where? To uh, device 12. You see, because we use device 12. So here, we also need to use device 12. That means if we write something, uh, something will be written to uh, my output file and then uh, after we done everything uh, you know uh, we know that for a program we need to make it uh, friendly so just uh, print something uh, give us some message we know that everything is done okay this is how it works yeah remember we have um, no file called uh, my output so here if we uh, run file. Let's see what will happen. Mm. Yeah, and uh, okay, yeah, and uh, also still nothing happened, right? Because we haven't write. We need to write, and then let's see if a uh, file called. Uh, uh, yeah, you see here. We got it. Um, my output. Uh, yeah, there is no extension. Yeah, it's finished. So, how to read it? Uh, if you do not have a Notepad, uh, I mean Notepad plus plus. I'm not sure if you can read this file uh, through the Notepad uh, uh, with uh, from Windows. But here I have it. So, you see the number. Uh, the first one is 1 divided by 3, second one is 2 divided by 3, and the third one is 3 divided by 3, it's 1, right? The value, and the uh, uh, first one, 4 divided by 3. So get all the numbers up to 100 divided by 3. 33 dot 33333, okay. So, yeah, that's it. I just want to show you how to make a um, program um, to read from uh, read some data from a text file and also write some data uh, um, to a file. Yeah, yeah, it's not limited to a text file. Uh, it can be any data file, even some file has no extension, no uh, file type. So. Also, this is uh, the list uh, I want to the outline. Yeah, actually, I want to show you. So I already show you how to uh, change font uh, from tools, options, and uh, yeah, go to here to change it, and then okay. Um, yeah, and also explain uh, implicit now because we want to uh, 
to avoid some old features from old versions of Fortran. Um, and uh, explain where to put the file. You need to put the same file, you see, under the workspace uh, for uh, this. For this, you see, the program is called chapter 4.f94. So should be the same. Um, the data file, text file, and the program should be under the same um, folder. Otherwise, you need to specify the location, the path, file path. Um, folder pass and uh, also explain what does uh, open mean to uh, open a um, uh, text file to a uh, uh, device and uh, device you see here we use device 10 to read uh, um, to read something from device 10 and uh, the values assigned can be assigned to XYZ um, and explain read explain read right already explain read and explain device number device number can be any positive number okay that's it already finish all the tasks um, yeah I hope uh, you enjoyed and thank you bye bye